The big idea here is that as a model tweaks and tunes its weights to determine how exactly words get embedded as vectors during training, it tends to settle on a set of embeddings where directions in the space have a kind of semantic meaning. For the simple word-to-vector model I'm running here, if I run a search for all the words whose embeddings are closest to that of tower, you'll notice how they all seem to give very similar tower-ish vibes. A very classic example of this is how if you take the difference between the vectors for woman and man, something you would visualize as a little vector in the space connecting the tip of one to the tip of the other, it's very similar to the difference between king and queen. So let's say you didn't know the word for a female monarch, you could find it by taking king, adding this woman minus man direction, and searching for the embeddings closest to that point. It looks like during training, the model found it advantageous to choose embeddings such that one direction in this space encodes gender information. 